welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at Mantis Falls. This is a 2-3 to three player hidden roll hand management deduction game. In the mob rule town of Mantis Falls in the 1940s, one of our players have been witness to something they should not have seen. So now the mob is after them, sending an assassin. So the player is going to be taking the role of either witnesses or assassin. The assassin is trying to kill a witness, and the witness or witnesses are trying to make it to the end of the road. Now that we know what the winning condition is, let's take a look at the components set up and how gameplay works in Mantis Falls. Now let's take a look at the components. You have the play mat. At the top of the play mat, you have Mantis Falls. And next to that, you have conserved energy. Below that in the center, you have the road grid and the direction, beginning with the start of the road space and ending with the end of the road space. On the right side, you have the action discard, action draw, event draw, and event discard. On the left, you have actions by the dark, actions by the night, and allies. Life trackers. At the top, you have the wound track, and at the bottom, you have the last gasp track. Playing pieces. Buttons. One to mark wounds, and one to mark last gasp. Action cards. In the top left, you have the suit. In the top right, you have the module ID, if it is one of the modules. Below that, you have the name, picture, first effect, and possibly second effect, keeping in mind that both are gonna be processed in order. If it is a condition action card, it would stay until it is removed. If it is an affliction action card, it would stay for the rest of the game. Event cards, at the top it tells you if it is seen or unseen and the type. Below that is your processing effect, and if it is an opposition, the opposition's help. Ally cards, in the top left it tells you how many of these cards are needed to complete this ally and gain their benefit. The middle of the card has the name and a description, and the bottom of the card has the effect when it is complete. Road cards, there are sunset, night, and dark road cards. In the top left you have a stoplight, and these are used for events. In the bottom right you have a phone or bus, which are used for cards, along with ambush. When you land on a card with ambush, you would gain that many wounds and lose that many cards. There are also broken road, road cards, in which you are not allowed to stop on. Roll cards for either witness or assassin. Character cards, these give you your max amount of wounds and any special abilities. Reference cards, add-on modules. The full circle add-on module is for more gameplay. The triad add-on module is required for three players. And the under the rows add-on module is for the advanced game. And then finally, your rulebook. Now let's take a look at the setup. We're gonna be setting this up for a two player game which takes nine steps. Step one, place the play mat in the center of the play area. Step two, place the road cards. Place the start of the road and end of the road cards on their corresponding spaces on the play mat. Then separate each road stack and shuffle each road stack. Remove one from each and place them face down, sunset in the bottom row, night in the middle row, and dark in the top row. Step three, place action cards. Separate the midnight action cards, and for two players, give each player a call in the hit card. For three players, you would shuffle the packed card in the triad add-on module with the other two call in a hit cards, and deal one to each player. Then shuffle the remaining midnight cards, placing three in the middle row and two in the top row. And finally, Shuffle the action cards and deal six to each player and place the rest face down on the right of the playmat in the draw area. Step four, place allies and events. Shuffle each deck and place them face down on their corresponding spaces on the playmat. Step five, get a roll. Shuffle the roll cards, which are made up of an assassin and a number of witness cards equal to the number of players. Deal one face down to each player and remove the remaining card from the game. Step six, get a character. If you're not using a module, each player would get an urbanite card face up. Step seven, get player components. Each player will get a player pawn, life tracker, and a red and black button. Step eight, place player components. Place the player pawn on the start of the road space, life tracker in the center of your player area with the red button on zero wounds and the black button on zero last gasp. Step nine, determine the first player. You'll randomly determine the first player and the player that goes last will draw one random ally card from the deck and flip the first sunset road ahead of the player pieces. Now let's take a look at the gameplay. A game consists of a number of turns until the gaming condition is met. Either escape, a turn begins when all the players are at the end of the road, or death, a player has died, a turn. A turn consists of six steps. Step one, initial movement. You may move one road forward or stay on your same space. 
Then if conserved energy is full, you can discard all four conserved energy cards to move an extra road space or heal a wound. When you're using the conserved energy to move, you must move two at one time, not choose to move. Also, if you move on any ambush, you must discard that many action cards from your hand and take that many wounds. If you pass through an ambush card using the conserved energy movement, you do not lose cards or gain wounds. Step two, draw an event card. Draw an event card, revealing it if it says seen or keeping it secret if unseen. Step three, main play. Both players make a play with their action cards. Starting with the active player, choosing one of four options. Create an action play, placing a number of action cards of the same suit face down in a sequence order left to right in your player area. Conserve energy. You can play an action card face up in the conserved energy area, discard up to two action cards face down, or do nothing. Step four, action reveal and processing. In turn order, starting with the active player, reveal and then process one action card going around until all action cards are played and processed. Step five, event processing. The active player will process the event. An opposition event card would require wounds dealt to this event. And step six, draw. Both players will draw back up to seven cards. They can draw from the draw pile and or the conserved energy location. Then it will become the next player's turn. In a three player game, turns rotate clockwise and there are a pair of active players and one bystander. The active players are the current player and the player to their right. The active players face the turn together, just like in a two player game. The bystander can still talk to the other players and can only do bystander specific capabilities. And then turns would continue until a player reaches his max wounds or an in-game condition is met. If a player reaches their max wounds or last gasp play would stop immediately and that player would play action cards of the same suit and process the cards. If after the play the wounds or last gasp is at their max, then the player dies. If a player dies, the witnesses would win if no witnesses have died. The assassin would win if a witness died. And if all the players escape, the witnesses win Mantis Falls.